it's uh, it's to be honest, it's it's the biggest thing we could have done in the off season. You know, uh, besides bringing in quality people, you know, getting the lights is, will change the program. You know, the from everything from recruiting, like you mentioned, to fan attendance, to the player experience, uh, everything. I mean, you drive down Dave Ward Drive from over a mile away, you can see him. You know, so just exposure and branding for the university. I think it's going to be fantastic. So Dr. Courtway, Dr. Ke Dr. Teague really stepped up big time to, to make it happen, and the Board of Trustees and uh, Staff Senate, all those people really came together and, and made it happen for us. We, we really lucked out. Yeah, I think we, you know, we got a lot of new faces. We've got uh, not well, ten new players. Uh, one of them came in in January, so he's been with us. Uh, Logan Miller, he's actually one of our captains, uh, made a really nice impression through the spring. Uh, and then the nine new guys, you know, this is really our first chance to see them with the group. A bunch of them have been out all week, kind of getting ready with the captains. Uh, so I think we're going to hit the ground running tonight. I'm pretty excited to, to get going. Yeah, you know, I hate to I hate to put too much emphasis on one team, but with Creighton, you know, a Final Four team the last two years out of the way, it does make it a lot easier for the rest of us to get through the conference and into the national tournament, which is always a goal. Um, so it doesn't mean we have an automatic bid now. We still got a lot of good teams to beat to get there. Uh, but yeah, Creighton, Creighton leaving makes it easier. You know, Loyola comes in, which uh, is a good opponent. We actually played them last year and, and had a good result up there. But you know, great team, new staff there, and, and some people we know very well. So you know, great addition to the conference. I think it's going to be just as strong as last year. Yeah, biggest thing is just tactically to get everyone up to speed. You know, uh, we're not big on, on on killing people with fitness in preseason. You know, if, if the guys aren't fit now, you know, they're not going to play. Um, so we're not going to waste a bunch of time doing that. We're going to spend every session, every training, every moment we can on our tactics, getting the young guys to understand the system, the rotations, the, the possession, uh, and the interchange. You know, it's it's a lot of stuff that they they've had access to a little bit in their club club in high school, but. You know, probably a lot of it's going to be reasonably new, and they're going to be playing with guys that have been doing it for now a year and a half. Yeah, I think the older group is, is uh, we're lucky to have them. You know, I think we've got uh, seven or maybe eight guys off the top of my head. You know, David Guenya coming back actually um, with a ton of pace, and we're, we're looking at him in some new positions, which is exciting. Taylor Hart as, as well, you know, two fastest guys on the team are going to be seniors. Uh, Connor Bowen with some good experience, you know, in a lot of different positions. Uh, Pachi and Goal, you know, I'm sure I'm missing some guys. Marco and Jaden, Jaden's one of the captains. You know, we've got a really nice crew of, of seniors that's, that are going to kind of set the tone right from the start. And the hope is that the young guys really battle them for playing time. You know, I think they've got to earn it probably more than the older guys do just because they haven't been here. But, you know, I hope that it's a battle every single day. You know, we've got, we've got guys from all over the country coming in, Utah, Oklahoma, some guys locally in Arkansas, you know, you've even got guys from overseas. So, uh, you know, it's an exciting class. Yeah, you know, I don't know how it's going to pan out just because we literally have not seen them play yet with our team. <laughs> but based on what we saw in the recruiting process and, and how we feel about them as human beings, I think they're going to make a nice impact. Yeah, I think you, you kind of alluded to it. For us, it's we don't put a lot of numbers out there. Uh, we focus on the process every single day. We've got a very specific set of characteristics we're looking for in our players. Big theme for us is win the day this year. And we've talked about that already in our meetings. Okay, and that goes from the field, practice field, to the games, but it transcends into academics, to your personal life, to your family life, and all of that. So if we focus on winning the day every single day, I think the results and the goals we're talking about will be the byproduct of, of those, uh, you know, winning the day and the, the daily stuff we're doing here.